Nine people were injured, and a five-year-old boy was killed in the worst tornado to ever hit Lakeville. And it happened 50 years ago. The date was Wednesday, May 9th, 1973. The time was 1.44 in the afternoon. What the National Weather Service described as a mini tornado struck the area one mile south of Buck Hill at the Connolly Mobile Home Park off of I-35. The tornado tore a path about 500 feet by 100 feet, destroying 10 mobile homes and damaging at least 10 others. Officers of the Lakeville Police Department and the Minnesota Highway Patrol arrived on the scene almost immediately, with then Police Chief Rich Rademacher coordinating the efforts with various agencies. The Red Cross established a headquarters in the park office within one hour after the tornado hit, helping injured and those who had suffered losses. Red Cross workers began helping families to find lodging and provide meals for survivors. Longtime Lakeville resident Mrs. William Green stated that she had never seen a tornado in the area in all the years she lived in the city. She was also quoted as saying, it sounds just like a train going through. There was a tremendous loss of property damage done to the area, but the loss of a five-year-old boy was the standout tragedy of the storm. The two-year-old brother of the boy killed survived, but he remained in the hospital in traction over a month with a broken leg. Their mother suffered minor injuries and was released from the hospital after several days. This was the first deadly tornado in the state since August of 1969, when 12 people were killed and damages in the amount of $2.2 million in outing Minnesota, north of Brainerd. 50 years has passed since this deadly incident took place, but the memory of a lost child and residents' homes reminds us of the dangers that severe weather poses to citizens wherever they live. This Lakeville History Moment is part of the Lakeville Area Historical Society's mission to educate residents about the community's past.